Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Episode 100. Can you believe it? 100 straight episodes. I told y'all. Like, share, subscribe, stick with us. We are going to do one episode every day for the rest of this year. What's the goal? Increasing our financial literacy. Anchoring truth in the scriptures. With that being said, scripture is on you, CEO. Mark eleven twenty three. What I'm about to tell you is true. Suppose someone says to this mountain, go and throw yourself into the sea. They must not doubt in their doubt. Heart. Doubt in their heart. They must believe that they say will happen. Then it will be done for them. Words, words, and more words. Brother Earl, what are you saying? I'm saying it again. Words, words, and more words. Words matter. What you say to yourself matters. So guess what I'm going to do? It's not about trying to change you. It's not about trying to uh, make you into somebody that you are not. It's about growing. It's about growing. It's about growth. I'm saying it again. It's not about trying to change you. You are who you are. It's about growth. And guess what? If you want to be successful, then you have to develop the language of success. If you want to be fruitful, you must develop the behavior of being fruitful and becoming fruitful. If you want to develop financial success, you must develop the language of productivity and fruitfulness. You got to get out of your language, your vocabulary, lack, in words of lack, words of poverty, words of not enough. So, I'm going to start something today. Word of the day. Word of the day is accolade, an expression of approval, a special acknowledgement, such as an award. Word of the day is accolade. Well, Brother Earl, why are you doing that? Because I'm going to help you build your vocabulary of success. I'm going to help you build your mentality of success. Words, words, and more words. What are you talking about? I'm glad you asked. Listen, Yeshua said it himself, for by the words that you shall be justified. I'm going to say it again. For by thy words, your words, thou shalt be justified. And by your words, thy words, thou shalt be condemned. What you say matters. What you say to yourself matters. What you say to yourself matters. What you say about yourself matters. What you say about others matters. What you say about your family matters. What you say about your business matters. What you say about your church matters. What you say about your kids matter. What you say about your investments matter. What you say about your car matters. What you say matters. Words, words, and more words. Words can make you and words will break you. Words can heal and words can make you, I, us, we sick. Our words, the words we speak every day, create what life will be today, and watch this. The words that you spoke yesterday create and formed and made your life what it is today. Your words matter, and you have to develop a vocabulary, a communication style and brand of fruitfulness, of success, of being positive, be fruitful, and you must eradicate, you must get rid of the language and the vocabulary of lack and not enough, sickness and death. Your words matter. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things with which he saith shall come to pass. 
he shall have whatsoever he saith. Your words matter. What are you saying to yourself? What are you saying to yourself about yourself? Are you speaking life? Are you speaking death? Are you speaking increase? Are you speaking division? Are you speaking adding? Are you speaking dividing? Are you speaking the language of multiplication? Are you speaking the language of kingdom mathematics? All of this, what I'm talking about, happens because of our, yours, my, you words. Your words matter. Your words matter. What you say matters. Yeshua said, Mark eleven twenty three, he shall have, she shall have, say it again, he shall have, she shall have, we shall have, you shall have, I shall have, whatsoever he, she, I, we, you saith. And I happen to believe the word of God from cover to maps, 100%. I believe. So I'm very careful with what I say because your words are seeds that are sown into your perfect present future. Look at your life. Where you are largely is due to the words that you have been saying over the last three to five years of your life. You want to change the trajectory of where you're going? Change your language. Words matter. This is your man Earl. Episode 100, April 10th. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Your words matter. What you say about investing matters. What you say about your life matters. What you say about your marriage matters. What you say about your parenting matters. What you say about your job, your career, your education matters. Do not be fooled. Do not speak haphazardly. Your words matter. Words, words, and more words. Change what you say, change the trajectory of where you're going. Watch what you say, change the direction of where you are going. Your words matter. God bless you. God keep you. Episode 100. I am ecstatic. The Most High God is with us. Peace.